Matthew 25 verse 13 says, So you too must keep watch, for you do not know the day or hour of my return. Um, I think I'm going to need to turn on the lights. Um, hello? Okay. Oh, this isn't, this isn't working. I don't know why this isn't working. Just, I need to turn on the lights. Can somebody help me turn on the lights? Oh, that's oh, great. Light. Oh my gosh. Finally, we can see each other. Okay. Yes. Oh, man. Why is it so dark? You, you had a flashlight. It wasn't at work. Couldn't it have been working? Yeah, that's weird. I can't figure out why I couldn't get this thing to work. So, hmm, that's weird. I, uh, what are you holding, Zach? You have to put batteries in it. Oh, there's no batteries inside. I guess that would probably help. Let's see what happens. Maybe I put them in the wrong way. I don't really know how to put well, them. Well, let's see. You didn't put them in the wrong way. It's totally working now. Good job. Um, I guess we really need to be ready for the next time that happens. So never take the batteries out. We'll keep the batteries in there so that we're ready in case the power ever goes out. How about that? So you're right. We weren't ready when the lights went out this time. Next time, we'll make sure that there are batteries inside of our flashlight. And you know what? Uh -huh. This reminds me of a story in the Bible where people just weren't ready for what was going on. They weren't prepared. Jesus tells this story, and it's actually very, very dark in the story. It's nighttime. And in the Bible, when it was night, there was no electricity. You couldn't just flick on the light switch. It was super dark. Yeah, exactly. So some people were preparing for their friend's wedding in this story, but they were not prepared. Now, okay, before I go on, I want you to check out some pictures from your mom and dad's wedding, because I don't think you've seen these. And in our wedding, we had a lot of preparing to do. We had to pick out flowers and we had to pick out dresses and we had to pick out tuxedos we had to find a cake what else do you have to do at a wedding do you know anything hmm we have to decorate we had to decorate and we have to put out tables and we have to have and we have to have a dance floor here. how did you know so much about weddings you're absolutely right so we had to pick a location and we had to do all the stuff that you just said and the location was actually at our very own church which was cool we also invited all of our friends and we hired a photographer so in this story what they needed was to have oil lamps ready since they didn't have flashlights they didn't have electricity they needed oil lamps so that they could see in the dark so everybody that already had oil for their lamps, they went right into the wedding. They were ready for the party. They welcomed, the, the groom welcomed them in. And Jesus called those people the wise ones because they thought ahead. Not just about in the moment. They were prepared. They were prepared and ready for the wedding. But there was a second group of people. They did not have the oil that they needed for the wedding. So they had to go get some, but it took too long, and you know what happened? What? They got locked out of the wedding. They, they couldn't even get in. And those were the people that Jesus called foolish and said they were not prepared, so they missed out, and we should not be like those people. We should be prepared. So we should always be prepared, make sure there are batteries in our flashlight, like these batteries that are in here right now. Great idea, Zach. So we should also be prepared as Christians. When we follow Jesus and learn from him how to be filled with God's light and love, we can then shine brightly out in the world. We can help those around us to know and see God's love, just like a flashlight. So let's pray together. Ready? You're going to repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for your love. Thank you for our love. 
for your love. Please help us to receive your light. Please help us to receive your light. So we can shine with your love and care. So we can shine with your love and care. And be your parade of light. Be your parade of light. For those around us. For those around us. Amen. Amen. So, in this story, everyone was preparing for this wedding. <laughs> she <laughs> you meant, said that like 25 she times. She meant everyone. No. She meant everyone. <laughs>